Hello friends, Heather here, and this is part two of my Artist Traveler's Notebook. So I um, joined a couple groups on Facebook because um, I really want to do an Artist Traveler's Notebook. Uh, apparently there's like a company called Midori that makes notebooks, and this is uh, the Recollections brand, which you just pick up at your local Michaels or uh, like Joann's Craft Stores. Um, probably Hobby Lobby's got them. I'm not sure. Otherwise you find them online. I had a coupon at Michael's. Got it either 40 or 50% off. So it was like five bucks. And it came with, you know, a set of pockets and then two of these little paper notebooks. So you can watch my first video to see how I painted my background. Um, this video is going to focus on um, some painting on the cover of like roses and things like that. So I got some pink paint here. And I got some white paint here. And I'm pretty much just going to do this as like a filler. It's not going to be my actual finished roses. Um, and I really am going to going to try to design some sheets to go on the inside, uh, like for calendar and everything. And um, I have joined a couple groups on Facebook, which I'm excited about. Um, artist journaling and junk journals and stuff like that. So I just want to... Um, go ahead and get started here. So I have a paper towel. I've got my angle brush. This is a three-fourths low Cornell um, 7400. And just so you know, uh, the 7400 is a good good brush and so is like the 9000 series and it's an acrylic handle. So they are like really nice because you can leave them and paint all the time and they're not going to split. So you see the difference here, but they're both really nice. So that's an acrylic. This is the wood. Um, it does pay to get nice brushes because if you get cheap brushes, the bristles fall out and they drive you nuts while you're painting. So I'm going to use the angle brush. This is what I refer to as the toe. And then the spark back part is the heel. And you can think of it as like a little happy reindeer hoof. You know, it is like almost Christmas. So that's cool. All right. I am going to load the toe of my brush here with some white. And I'm going to load the heel of the brush with the pink. All right. And I'm just going to blend it here, pick up a little more on my, um, my makeshift palette because I was too lazy to go upstairs in between my video shoots to get one. But it doesn't matter. So just make do with what you have. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I think... My plan is I'm going to have one rose kind of facing this way and then one rose facing that way. So I'm just kind of doing a loose here so I get like an idea of what kind of size I'm going to have. So let's see. I'm thinking, hmm. There we go. Get a little more paint. And this is just base coating. And like I said, I'm just trying to get an idea of what size I want. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that size. I'm going to flip my piece over here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This time this one's going to face down. I've been kind of singing like Christmas songs lately, which is crazy, I know, but what can I say? We get a little bigger, I think. Bloop, bloop. All right. I can make this one a little bigger. I think I'll call that good. So these are pretty much just like some fillers. But you can kind of see, you know, I just got it base coated in there. So I'm going to let that dry and I will be right back. All right, I have another smaller brush now. This is a 3 8 inch angle and I am just going to do some little placeholder like rose buds. Cause I'm not really sure where everything's going to go yet, but um, I'm just going to kind of decide where I want things. So I think, doo -doo -doo, 
put some like maybe right here maybe one over here and then I'm going to do the same thing down here so another thing when I'm like when I'm painting the roses and you're watching what I do is I have the part that has the writing on my brush um, if you're painting this way I would have it to my left and then that way I always know um, you know where it's at and I've got the toe is facing way and I've got my heel and my brush close to me here and um, I'm just gonna add these two and I think that's pretty good all right so you can just kind of see there got two little placeholder rose buds all that good I guess I could put like another coat on them and that way they'll be won't take as long later to do stuff so all right okay so now I'm gonna use a medium color green I'm gonna add some leaves and I'm using actually, I believe it's Hauser. Oh, Hauser light green. Oh, that's a different color. Hold on. I'm not sure if that's the color I wanted. Let me look. Hmm. Hauser dark. Nope, it's not. I'm actually going to use Hauser medium green. That's what happens when you have a whole bunch of colors in your box. So going to add a little of that here and I'm going to grab let's see what brush I'm just pretty much base coating so it doesn't matter um, to me because I'm just going to kind of draw them in and fill them in like color blocking with the color book like in a coloring book so I guess I'll go ahead and I'll use my um ooh, goodness the filbert brush so that's the one that's like the cat's tongue. I talked about it in the first video. Oh, it's not focusing very well, but there you go. So you see how it's kind of rounded and not just flat across the top. So I'm just going to load my brush. And you try not to get the paint all the way up into the ferrule because the ferrule is this part right here. Because what will happen is the paint will get stuck up in there and it'll dry and it'll cause things to split. All right, let's see. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put, oh, this definitely needs something up here. So I'll go with, let's see, one, two, or just one. Hmm. I guess I'll start off with one. Okay. And another. I actually really like leaves, so I like to add them to like pretty much everything. And I, um, it's easier to turn your piece and work on your piece than it is to turn your hand different ways. So um, that's just something I always tell everybody too. So make things easier for yourself. And just turn your piece. Okay. Let's see, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger though because that one was kind of big and so okay go over here mm -hmm. Let's go with um, there we go. It's kind of funny when I'm painting, I don't always talk as much. All right, and then Let's see. 
debating on whether two, three, four. I think I might put another one over here too. Let's see. Two, two. Hmm. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm going to think about it. So I'll think about it. We'll let this dry. I'll put another base coat on those leaves. So I did add another leaf, and now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add uh, another layer of the green so that these are more opaque. And if for some reason you have a hard time um, drawing leaves and roses or whatever, um, I guess I could put like a little template or something in my Etsy shop. I could draw something out. The thing is with the roses, you have to actually paint them, but I could put little circles on there and then draw out the leaves and placement. And then you could just transfer them on with some graphite paper. So if that's something somebody's interested in, just, you know, let me know and I can do that okay because I'm on this angle here I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing and I wasn't so I gotta make sure it's actually looking like leaf and I kind of messed up there we go cool cool all right so I'm gonna let that dry and believe it or not I am gonna add a one more coat to them so there we go and it's super dark I'm in my basement um, in Michigan and it's like super dark so there you go all right I'll be right back all right real quick I just wanted to show you if you can't find an angle brush you can always get what is a flat brush and it just the bristles just go straight flat across it's gonna drive me nuts because I want it to focus there we go so um, you just have a nice flat brush you can use it and do the same thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and put another little layer here on my little buds and I'm just going to show you like a cheater way here. Um, well, it's the same idea. Pretty much you load your white on one corner and your pink on the other. Kind of blend them together. And then um, you just kind of go like this. Come back. And I'm going to shade and highlight them so that they uh, stand out more anyway. So it doesn't matter if you can't tell right now so much. And the only problem with this gold paint is it kind of makes everything else glare on the camera, which is kind of funny. So I'm just going to do this one here. Okay, and we kind of refer to this as like a U stroke or a C stroke. Um, so you uh, start up on your chisel edge, push and mash down, and then come back toward myself and lift. So it's mush and lift, and your brush is on the chisel, then it's not, and then it is. So get one more here. And now I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do like either a C, because you can think of it as like a C if I want to turn my piece here. And I'm going to start on the chisel and come down and mash and then come back up and end on the chisel. And you'll notice how, because it's the C, that little white kind of closes up the bud. So I'll do that one more time. There you go. So getting these nice and base coated. I wouldn't really do this many all the time, but just so you get the idea of how to do it. All right. Okay, 
So now I'm going to go ahead and do some shade. Or actually, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, all right, there's a, this is like a scruffy brush. This is one here that you can get, um, it's like a Donna Dewberries by Plaid. Um, and it's kind of a bigger one. And then they have other ones. Um, my mine is right here. It's wet. Yep. Because, oops, and I just get wet paint all over me. So it's called a deer foot brush. And if you look at it, it kind of looks a little bit like a deer foot shape. Used to, it's been pretty well worn. So usually you use these dry. Um, and you use them uh, like if you're going to use a stencil or something. So it's more of a, like a pouncing type brush. So, and you would use it dry and you would, um, I'm going to use it and I'm going to go ahead and just use this one, even though I really like the shape of the other one better. This one's kind of big. And I'm going to take that same color that I had. And this time I'm not going to bother squirting it out. I'm just going to stick the corner here in and pick some up on my brush. And I'll go over to my palette and I'm going to just kind of mash it down so that I know that's kind of like about the consistency that I want. And now I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to add some. Yep, might need to get more. There we go. All right. Oh, goodness. And I'm just going to kind of add this in places as like a little filler. So. back over my palette, move some paint around and pick up some more. And if your brush was like wet, what would happen is you would, um, it would be like puddles of paint instead of the, um, little tiny areas here. So, and you want to try not to do this. Where, let me see if I can get my, where you just go like, and you put, actually that doesn't look too bad, but sometimes you can get the exact shape of the piece and of the brush and that looks a little weird. So, I'll get some up here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to call that done. It's like a mess, mess and a half. All right, and then um, if I was going to use this later, all I would do to clean it off is put it on a brush and do one of these. Just try to get as much paint out of it as possible and then move on to like the next color. So, but I'm hoping to not use it, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in some water. All right, let my other one air out there. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to... Let's see, doing a little shading on my leaves. I really made a mess of my little pretend palette here. I think I will, let me zoom out for a minute. All right, so I have the dark Hauser green now and I'm just gonna put it right on top of that other green. All right. And I'm going to look for my angle brush. And I'm going to use my biggest one because I'm all about using big brushes because I like to take, you know, lay a lot of paint down at one time. There we go. I think you can see my little paper towel. Looks like I got some pink paint still in there. But I don't care so much, to be honest. So, all right. Now, when you're using your angle brush and you're going to start doing any shading or highlighting, I'm just going to show you, and I do have some other videos, I think, where I did the same thing. Your brush will go from this bright, wet color, and you're going to set it on your paper towel, have the paint, I mean, the water um, kind of like soak out, 
and now it has kind of a matte sheen or a satin sheen. sheen. So instead of being super glossy, which means it's full of water, now it just has like enough water for you to use. And then you want to check your ferrule and make sure you don't got any big drops of water sitting on here. Oops, look, see that one? Because otherwise that's going to drop into your paint, mess things up for you. And you may not get it the first time, but that's okay. So you're going to just do the toe. And this time I'm just doing the one color. So I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to blend it till you kind of see a gradation in color from the toe toward the heel. And it doesn't really have to be perfect. So, all right, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just kind of doing big C strokes. Same way I did before where you kind of start out um, you know, up on your chisel and you flatten out. I just like to do like a bunch of little strokes pretty much like this. And I may come back in, do another little layer like that. And technically that looks pretty good, but you can come back and do like a final sweep and even clean it up a little more or bring out your color a little more. So there you go because it's wet, but that's how it'll look. And I'm going to go back to my water, get more water, do the same thing with my brush where it goes from like the kind of glossy. And you see how the water comes out there. So I don't have too much water in my brush, picking up my paint. And again, I'm just going to load it over here. And I'm going to do this leaf. Right. Now what you can do if you're not like having great success and you're getting like a big huge line, you can buy what is called a mop brush. And I think unfortunately I put my mop brush, oh here it is, got one over here. This is like a small one. Oops, there we go. Mop brush. I use that to get my glitter off my pieces. So you take this mop brush and you use it dry and you just kind of pounce it. And it'll soften the edges. And it gives it just a little bit better look. So that's if you're having like a really hard edge and um, you're not seeing any gradation in color. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this and probably not talk. Maybe I'll talk, but I just want to get done here so we can move on to the next step. So I'm going to do this one. And you've got to decide which leaf you want on top. So... I'm going to have this one be on the bottom. Then this one will be on top. I'm going to grab a little bit more oops, water. I got like a gazillion brushes like sitting in my water basin so it's hard to even get in there. That way it can kind of lighten this up just a little bit. Okay, I'm take my mop brush and give it a little, just kind of walk your brush in and out. Get some more paint. I'm going to do this one here. Plus, this kind of makes it dry quicker. Okay. And I got a little too much water there, so turn this over. Get that out of the 
way. Hmm. Try and decide. I think I'm going to go like this. There we go. Paint. It's kind of funny. People are so used to me talking all the time. It's weird to be quiet, and I feel weird because I'm like on camera and it's dead quiet space. Too bad I can't have like somebody with a big company that wants to be advertised. I could do announcements or something, which is like just me being funny. All right. I'll let that dry and I'm gonna grab my Elbert brush and I'm gonna go back to my medium green color here let me zoom back in zoom 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 all right and well yeah, you know what? That's not the right color. I don't know why I keep doing that. You know, actually, I think I wanted to base coat these, actually, this light color, but the dark color is good, or the medium. That's kind of funny. I'm not really sure. Oh, there it is. The thing is, when you look at the stickers, is why I'm getting confused, is they kind of almost look the same color, but this one's medium and that's dark. So, I do like that light color. Yeah, you know what? We'll just go with the light color. Why not? doesn't really matter. See how it looks. If it doesn't look good, we'll just change it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my piece on the camera so you can see it, I guess, first. I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to actually put it on an angle and mush and pull it up. So kind of get a little squiggle and do the same thing over here. Yeah, you know, if I had to do it again, I was going to repaint. I think I'd paint my base coat, my leaves this color, but that's okay. I'll just highlight them. It depends on how much work you want to do. All right. Now, if you don't have the, this brush, that's totally fine. You can use a round brush. Round brush will get you the same thing. Let me just find one here real quick. Or even a smaller, um, I guess I don't have the round brush. I got, But I have a smaller filbert. So I'll just do the same thing. I gotta get my excess paint off here on these other two down here. Um, but instead of using the angle, since it's so small, I'm just gonna use it flat and then kind of come up. Oops. And that's kind of like a blob of paint. So let me just take that off. There we go. Just kind of mixes in with the background, and that's because I had too much water. So, do this again. Oops, making a mess. And of course, this is going to end up taking a couple base coats because it's a pretty light color. So, I don't know, maybe I'll go back in and I'll do the next one with a darker color. But this way, you get the idea of what it looks like anyway. So, yep. All right. I am just going to let that dry, and I think I will go ahead and use the medium color on the next one. So, let me see if I can. Oh, there's my round brush. So, I could have done the same thing with a round brush. So, and it just would have been a kind of a mush down and then pull up to do these little squiggles. Alrighty, I'm going to let this dry and I'm just going to add another layer on those pieces here so that they're mo more opaque and I'll be back. Alright, I just want to make a note that um, on camera the leaves look much darker than they actually are. Um, yeah, even when I get close to them, they're a little bit more yellow in real life than uh, they are on the photo or in the um, image. So 
I did go ahead and put another layer here on these little rose buds and I did use the um, more medium color green and I'm going to add a little bit more paint here to my brush and I'm just going to do a simple little line coming back in here to the center just so it looks like there's a stem and then I'm going to do the same thing here and you got to decide is my stem going to be over the leaf or under the leaf and I am going to go with under so and I'm going to put my travel journal thing in the green paint which you know doesn't really matter I guess but and this one will just go right like that all right a lot of the times when I don't want to have to put paint out because I don't think I'm gonna use a lot I'll just shake my bottle really good and then there'll be some in the lid and I can just take it right out of the lid so I'm gonna um, kind of make just a little mark here to close up these buds so grab a little more paint and let's see if I can yeah the problem is like you can't see the other colors very much I think it's because of the gold backgrounds making everything glary so it's just kind of a little close that up close that up all right so my next video will be finishing up the roses and adding some little tiny flowers in there and um, that's it for now so thank you for watching um, make sure you check out my Etsy shop for the uh, on my different collage sheets and everything like my tags that'll fit really good on the inside here it'll look cute all right thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and please leave me comments below if you enjoy my videos and things like that thanks bye